What is up, YouTubers? You know who it is. It's your boy, Polly C. Cleaning up another home. I do have my lovely wife helping me today. These are really old, kind of an eggshell Berber carpet. You can see the edges. I'm gonna get my carpet shears when I'm done. Trim around the edges. I got permission from the tenant. You'll see here, let me just stretch one out. Look at that. So we'll get that cleaned up. Heavy, heavy soil. Beautiful day. Rained a little bit, but you could see this has a patio and then no patio on this side. So the sunlight that we do have that comes through this room will cast all these shadows. So I took my flashlight and put it down on some of these darker areas. There's my lovely wife and found that they were just shadows. Although that one there right across the center, I think they had a rug or something on the upper right hand side. I will share with you what my secret sauce today is later in the video. I am using the Orbot Vibe. I am using Glad Pads today. They're 100% cotton. I did not use the Super Zorbs and I mixed up a little Magic Bullet in the bottle for spotting and the hoover hush tone commercial vacuum that is a burn y'all won't be doing anything there i'll turn some lights on and kind of give you a quick tour i'm doing the two bedrooms that little rec room down there this little closet the hallway this room doesn't have too much to show Lots of heavy furniture created those divots. Not much I can do with that. A little bit of staining. And a walk-in closet. Okay. They pre-vacuumed. And they used a shark vacuum. I'm not sure what that little one is. Or the shop vac. But anyway... I'm gonna vacuum, obviously my wife's doing that. The stairs are pretty soiled. I'll be pre-scrubbing those with my drill and the white brush. There's the attachment for the Hoover Hush Tone I've been using for vacuuming the stairs. We'll be vacuuming these in just a moment. Here's my floor protectors. I think I ordered a 12 foot roll, cut it in half. There's my new shoe booties. This you can get from NCAP store. It's floor protector, it sticks down great. There's my mat and my tarps. Oh yeah, and the NV200. That bad boy, thank goodness for the gas mileage it gets. Gas is almost up to $5 a gallon. So there you go. There's those floor protectors from NCAP store. Very cheap. Here is my work sprayer. And you'll notice I put a 5 16th clear vinyl hosing on it. I increased it to 5 foot. And I reduced the washers down to just 3 washers for the weight. And it's working fantastic. You can see here. Oh yeah. I did have to clean out the work sprayer. I think the encapsulant uh, product dried in there in the pump and it was having some issues. So I ran really hot water, just straight hot water through the gun. And then I took a gallon of vinegar and ran that through the gun. And now it's back to spraying beautifully. I will put a little bit of the magic bullet just a little bit on there just to moisten up the pad so we don't get too much friction even though I put enough solution down there. All right, let's get the machine into the area. My cord, get that sorted out. I have to go replug it in since I pulled it right out of the wall. All right, and I did obviously speed this up, I think two or three times normal speed. So follow me along and watch the clear path I leave behind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautimus. Look at this guy go to town. 
Oh my goodness. Is that Johnny Cash dressed in all black? <laughs> what is going on here, guys and gals? All right, so I'll scoot through this room, picking up all the soil, to try and show you, get my wife to zoom in a little bit. And as I find some soil, you can see the difference already. Look at that. And then I'll switch pads after I get out of this little room. Oh yeah, that's right, I'll switch pads. I'm not gonna use one pad to do a whole house. I'm gonna switch them because I'm picking up that nasty soil. One pad will generally do about 200 square foot. You could flip it over, but I find the process works better if I just put a new pad down. So the next room we'll put a new pad down and I'll scrub over it with one pad and then I don't think I film the second pad but I take a second pad and I go back and forth like this when I get into the other room but when they're heavily soiled I like to take a fresh pad and just really hit the traffic areas first unless I decide to use either a scrubbing pad like a Neptune pad or a white 3M pad polishing pad or I'll use my micro thins microfiber scrubbing strips but here with these 100% cotton pads they do a lot of the work in getting the first layer of soil out when I'm in the next room that's more heavily soiled because it's a flat Berber carpet that cotton is right on the surface of the carpet itself and if you're not familiar with what an Orbot Vibe does, it is orbiting. It's not just rotating in a circle, although my swirly is a rotary and I do love it and it would do a beautiful job as well. However, the Orbot Vibe is, I believe it is rotating instead of 175 rotations per minute like the 175, it only rotates at a full circle at 80 rotations per minute or 80 rpms however in between the orbits each section of the pad is is moving at 1700 rpm or 1700 uh, rotations per minute and that's moving throughout the fibers picking up all the soil as you saw on the end of the pad or the bottom of the pad check that out oh my goodness we cutting up some butter <laughs> look at that oh my goodness that's amazing looks even better in person it's crazy how the camera just doesn't ever do any justice although it is i guess you could see uh, the results there coming out beautifully so we'll go through like i said this step I just took a fresh pad, put it on at the doorway there, pre-sprayed all the heavy areas and the rest of the room. And with the fresh pad, I'm just going down the major traffic lanes, down the areas where I see heavily soiled areas. And like I said, instead of pre-scrubbing with a microfiber thin or using my rug renovator, I'll just give it one full pass with the cotton pad get up the majority of the soil and then I'll come back through with another pad and go methodically back and forth. You could see they had some heavy posts there. Towards the end of the video my wife will spray those each with magic bullet and scrub them by hand. You'll see a major improvement as the bottom of the pad driver is velcro and it's flat sometimes it's hard for the pad to get down into those divots so i will come back i'll even come back here with a brush and my drill and touch up spots where i couldn't get real close along the edge and those divots more divots and more divots and i do have uh, the carpet shears with me today my wife's going to be trimming off all those little loose uh, spuds or spurs that come up on the carpet. I always ask permission from the homeowner if they don't mind me cutting those away and I just explain to them that way they're not going to snag them or catch them in their vacuum and cause a bigger tear. And of course the homeowner here said no problem. 
So here we go, still just pre-scrubbing, going back over some areas. So basically you could call this the initial scrub. You could see they had a, I don't know if it was a carpet or some large piece of furniture there in front of the area I'm working in. And so this centerpiece is kind of really flat and it also has some shadows coming in from the windows. So I always take a flashlight out of my pocket and verify so that I don't spend a whole bunch of time trying to scrub something out that's just a shadow, especially on light colored carpets. And sometimes I'll show the client with my flashlight and say, hey, you know, you can see, <clears throat> pardon me, you can see there's a couple areas. These are just shadows. Most people know that have light carpet. Watch me scrub this free. Oh my goodness, Polly C. <laughs> uh oh, sound like I was about to get into a wrap there. <laughs> scrub this free, Polly C. Oh my goodness, having too much fun today. And I do apologize for not posting videos all last week. I have a exclusive uh, golf uh, neighborhood where it's on a golf course. They're very expensive homes and years ago I started out with one client. She referred me to her neighbor who referred me to their neighbor who referred me to another neighbor who referred me to another neighbor that posted me on their neighborhood blog and I pretty much do about 60% of all the homes in that neighborhood. You see there I lifted the wheels off to put a little more weight and get those spots out. But like I was saying, I go down there every year. Look at this pad. Oh my goodness. I go down there every year and I have my wife help me and we clean about three or four homes a day. Get them all knocked out in a week. And the customers like to talk to me when I'm there so I don't have much time to film. So that's where I was all last week. Money, money, money. Yeah, get your name out there. Get on the neighborhood blog. All right, so check this out. These are just four of the pads, but I'll put a fresh one down for contrast. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where the dirt goes, boys and girls, when they say, where does the dirt go? Gets absorbed into the pad, and because of the secret sauce, that's right, it is NCAP Store's awesome NCAP. It is a crystallizing, encapsulating process. So any dirt that didn't get absorbed into the pad will be trapped and dried down to a brittle crystal and be vacuumed out upon your next routine vacuuming. The process is amazing. I've gone back and forth in and out of homes, verified the process. This is awesome end cap. It's exactly what the name says. It's awesome. I was lucky enough to use it today because every time my wife works with me, she insists on the Green Dragon. Yes, we do use the Green Dragon. <laughs> she loves Green Dragon and always makes me question, could I have done better had I used Green Dragon? <laughs> but Awesome End Cap is definitely the shiznit. Get you some if you haven't already. There's a link in the description below. Here you go, those are shadows coming in from the window. You can see there's a half patio out there so it stretches those across. Like I said, I verified it with my flashlight. And these divots, you'll see here, my wife has put some magic bullet on them and she is scrubbing them with a white washcloth that is 100% cotton. And it will definitely make a difference in the appearance because it's hard to get the pad down into that section when there's a heavy divot so we always kind of hand clean them and then I come back with the brush the drill brush and I brush over them with a clean brush and try to break up more of the indention so there you go check it out looking good we'll call that deep cleaning the indented areas Oh yeah, Poly C exclusive, <laughs> no extra charge. Compliments of Magic Bullet. 
Another wonderful spotter available at the end cap store. This is a burn mark. I don't think Damon has anything for burn marks other than a cut and plug. I no longer do repairs, so I won't be doing that today. Cleaning is enough for me. Oh yeah, this room, you can see here, I'll be coming through. Or actually, I've already gone through, I should say. There is the Orbot Vibe. Oh, yeah. Orbot Vibe, baby. There's my drill with the white brush. Went ahead and pre-scrubbed. I'm going to take those white cloths and go across and get most of the moisture up before I use my Auric Orbiter and come down with two Glad Pads. Pre-moistened. Halfway down the stairs, get another pad, do the rest of it, and the stairs will come out beautiful. These are the final pictures. Looking fantastic again. Keep in mind, those are shadows, not dirt. I could put a flashlight on it, and it will look just as clean and clear and bright as the bright sections do. Obviously, we're in a dark hallway here, but everything came out beautiful except for, of course, the burn. Nothing I could do about that. I guess I could, technically, if the customer asked me to, I could patch that. Pretty simple process. Takes a little bit of finesse when you do a patch on Berber carpet. Got to try to stay within the sequence so that it matches up. Here is the rec room. Again, you will see those stripes. Those are the shadows. Not making excuses, just explaining to you what they are. Looks absolutely beautiful. There was one section to the right of this, which I'll show you, where I think they had a rug or some big piece of furniture. So you do have some natural wear or shading. And there was nothing I could do about that. That's on the lower right-hand corner of this picture. I don't know if you can even see it. There's a little square there, but the uh, lines that go across, those are not really where. Those, I believe, are part of the shadows coming in from the window. But the tenant was completely satisfied. And besides that, I told her it would be dry in about an hour to two hours, which it was pretty much close to being dry when I was done, but I always like to give myself and my work the benefit of the doubt. If they can stay off of it for the next two hours, that way it will fully dry down. The end cap or the awesome end cap, I should say, can start to dry down into a brittle crystal. Usually takes a little bit longer, but avoiding them jumping right on the carpets is probably the best thing if they're able to do that. So this is just a different angle. Again, I'm at the back door exiting out. And again, those shadows, nothing I can do about that unless I get studio lighting. Oh yeah, we might do that. <laughs> I can pull the van around and put my headlights on for you next time if you want. <laughs> All right, let's check out my work on the stairs. I groomed everything kind of forward. So... Not sure how they look on the camera, but they came out fantastic in person. And now my wife is demanding payment. That's right. She gets paid. She doesn't work for money. You know what she works for? <laughs> She's the best kind of help you can find. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is what she works for. Lunchtime. <laughs> oh, yeah. Polly C leaves the lunchbox at home when he brings Mrs. C to the job because she gets to eat out and have a fantastic lunch. This was chicken teriyaki and a salad. Oh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be posting more soon. I'll see you in my next one.